what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so if you watched my last video i said that this one was going to be an la vlog but to be honest guys it was a really short trip it was a really work focused trip it was very full on like most of the hours in each day were very packed i was up most mornings at like half six and then didn't stop shooting until after sunset so it was just a really hectic trip to be honest and i didn't really get much time to actually do like holiday stuff and exploring until the last day so apologies i don't have an la vlog i did whip out the camera but it was just mainly bts of the photo shoots and a lot of the stuff i can't even show anyway because they're unreleased products but it was a really fun trip i had such a good time with the women's best crew i love going away on these trips and making new friends i'm not gonna lie i was like a little bit overwhelmed going over there because i was definitely given like short notice and i also didn't know anyone there like i hadn't actually met anyone there before so i was a little bit anxious going over but i actually made friends really quickly with the girls and it's just really nice meeting other people in the industry that are doing the same thing and learning from each other and just having a good time so i didn't vlog it but i had a great time and not to worry anyway because because I have lots of trips coming up over the next few months, especially during the summer that I can bring you along on when I'm not working and we can actually explore together. But anyway, I got back from LA two days ago and I thought I'd beat the jet lag because I fell asleep the first night and just slept through the night. And then last night it was half three in the morning and I was just staring at the ceiling in my room. So I'm a little bit all over the place at the moment, but I just told myself today I'm gonna push through. Anyway, big announcement. The 2022 Summer Transformation Challenge has just gone live when i post this video the official signups will be live it's the first link in the description box i had a lot of you asking me over the last few weeks if i am running a summer challenge i normally run two challenges per year and that's all i'm actually capable of right now because they're absolutely manic but they're also just really fun and really rewarding for me as well as a coach but basically it's 10 weeks long the challenge the winner gets 2000 euro cash and i also have athlete vouchers up for grabs i'll have com fitness vouchers up for grabs and also free coaching so for the 10 weeks you'll get a completely customized meal plan so whether you're vegan vegetarian pescatarian gluten-free dairy-free like whatever your diet type is i'll cater to it your meal plan changes every two weeks but i do give you seven different plans to choose from each week so there is a lot of variety in the foods that you'll be eating because that's how i eat myself i like having a little bit of variety and even though i eat a lot of the same meals each week it's nice to have the choice of mixing up your foods and not just eating plain disgusting foods every day i'll also give you a customized workout plan whether you want to work out from home or at the gym and whether you're a beginner intermediate or advanced lifter your plan will obviously be customized to your goal as well so if you're slim and want to build some muscle then you'd be choosing the build and grow plan or if you just want to get a little bit leaner for summer you'd probably be choosing the fat loss plan everything is completely customized to you and your goal and your body we'll be doing check-ins every two weeks there's 24 7 support by me so if you ever do want to change anything or have any questions i'll be there to help help and of course you get access to my fitness app so that's where your meal plans and all your workout plans will be presented to you i have like video demonstrations for every exercise so if you're unsure about anything you'll have these to fall back on just to make sure that you're that little bit more comfortable in the gym if you are new to it i've also added some new features to my app over the last few weeks so i've been testing them for a couple of months and i started like gradually implementing them over the last few weeks and have gotten great feedback mainly to do with your meal plan like making sure that i can cater to what foods you like and what foods you don't like i also added a feature for swapping in and out exercises if you have injuries or if you just don't like an exercise i have a section where you can upload your progress photos you don't have to share them with anyone else if you want to keep them private but it's just a little section where you can keep track of your progress over the 10 weeks it's been a hectic few weeks getting it organized and designing the programs and everything but i'm confident that you're really going to enjoy this challenge and the results in the last one were absolutely insane also just to mention that the spaces are limited so I'm going to try keep the signups open for three days I can't guarantee that they'll be open for the full three days because spaces do fill up um, and I am putting a cap on it to make sure that anyone that does join is able to get my full attention if you're interested in signing up make sure you hit the first link in the description box the challenge will be starting at the end of this week so I'm very excited for it anyway I am just back from Aldi I'm about to make my pre-workout meal I feel like I'm a little bit off sync at the moment there's just been a lot going on and just a lot of travel over the last couple of weeks and I'm sort of just easing myself back into things this week there were three training days that I missed when I was away shooting but 
before that I was on such a good roll with my training and diet like you know when you just get into the rhythm of things and it just flows so my goal right now is to just get back into that over the weekend and pick up where I left off basically so that's what I'm going to be chatting about in today's video about how to get back on track and how to stay on track and just habits that I practice and things that have worked for me over the last few years what I'm going to do is make my pre-workout meal and while that's digesting I'm going to sit down and have the chats so I'm aware it's not the most exciting pre-workout meal but I did have a big breakfast so I didn't feel like I needed too much this is my bacon I have some low-fat butter light mayo Cajun chicken and some lettuce and these little protein pouches as well they're honestly so good and they have 25 grams of protein which is insane okay guys so while my pre-workout meal is going down and while i have some time to spare before i go to the gym i thought i would sit down and have a chat to you about how to get back on track and most importantly how to stay on track once you've gotten there if you're someone that is either black or white when it comes to you know staying on track and eating well and training then these tips will hopefully help you try to find that little gray area in the middle where you have the balance of progressing staying on track and also living your life so my first bit of advice when it comes to getting back on track is to realize that there is no perfect time to decide I'm gonna get back on track waiting until Monday it's never gonna work in your favor if you fall off track in the morning and decide to wait until the next day to get back on track it's only gonna work against you there is never a wrong time to put yourself and your goals first even if that's in the middle of the week at like 2 p.m. on a Wednesday you decide to get back on track then that's okay too so set a time for yourself and don't don't wait around because no one else is going to wait around for you either you know this is about you and your goals and as I mentioned there's never a wrong time to start working on yourself again my next bit of advice sort of ties into what I mentioned earlier and it is losing the all or nothing approach you need to be patient with yourself when you're getting back on track the start is always the hardest like even for myself coming back from trips I always find the first one to two days of getting back into eating my usual foods and you know not giving into cravings and not giving into to bad habits is always the hardest because you're almost like relearning your good habits again so you need to realize that when you're going back into a gym plan or a meal plan or whatever approach you want to take be realistic with your goal setting and understand that no one's perfect and the start is always the hardest like once you can push through the first week or two of making better habits it gets so much easier so my next bit of advice is definitely the most important bit of advice I have when it comes to getting on track and staying on track and that is making sure that your why is genuine and that your why revolves around you and nobody else. Improving your physique and your mental health and just practicing better habits is so much easier when your reason is for yourself and not to impress others. If you're trying to change your body or your habits for someone else or to impress others, you won't be long falling back into your old habits again because your why isn't genuine. So this also ties into my next bit of advice and that is all about your mindset and how you speak to yourself. Make sure that you're practicing positive talk to yourself and that you're making this more than just something that's physical there's always two approaches that people take when it comes to improving their physique and it's either constructive or it's destructive the destructive side of things is when someone starts a plan and they're like I hate how I look I don't like this certain thing about myself I'm only going to be happy when I look this way if this is your mindset going into a plan then you're never going to be happy because it is a lot more than physical oftentimes they reach their goal and they just want more and more and more and it's just a negative ending cycle of not feeling good enough whereas if you change these destructive thoughts and how you speak to yourself into constructive thoughts instead for example saying that you're looking forward to improving your health so that you can be less anxious and you know live a more productive lifestyle or you're looking forward to working on self-improvement so that you can reap in the physical and mental benefits that come with it another huge one that I definitely motivate myself with is improving my sense of self and my self-trust so if I set out a task for myself and if I actually take it off that's me improving my self-trust and my sense of self and this is the approach that will actually help you maintain your results and that's honestly one of the biggest things that helps me stay on track and it's because I'm genuinely doing it for me from a constructive standpoint rather than because I hate a certain thing about myself I've definitely had that mindset in the past like especially when I started off at the gym I feel like I was doing it for the wrong reasons and I was just in a constant cycle of you know getting to where I thought I would be happy and then not being happy and wanting more whereas as soon as I changed my mindset into something that's more than just how I look you know something that has substance and something that helps me grow as an actual individual rather than just what's on the outside I truly became so much happier myself and alongside 
that, the results that I got, they stuck around and they continue to stick around and I'm continuing to improve myself because of that. So just make sure that you're being nice to yourself and you're doing it for the right reasons and you know, make sure that you're still your own best friend. Even if there are things you wanna work on or change or improve, that doesn't mean you have to hate on yourself. You can still love yourself along the way and that's so important. Another bit of advice I have when it comes to getting back on track is breaking your days down into smaller sections. I read a book called Atomic Habits a couple of years back. I'm sure a lot of you might have read it too and if you haven't read it yet, you need to go and order it right away. I'm gonna try to find a link to it and put it in the description box of this video because it's honestly life-changing and it's very much how I approach life and fitness. And it all relates back to breaking things down into small decisions and small habits each day because that's what actually leads to massive change. So instead of you know overwhelming yourself and overcomplicating everything and telling yourself that you need to live this whole new life in the morning because you're going back on plan, you need to scrap that mindset because you're gonna freak yourself out and you're gonna turn yourself off even attempting to get back on track. Instead, one thing that I practice every single day because I actually do have the tendencies to get really overwhelmed sometimes when it comes to work and just life in general. I have the tendencies to get really stressed really quickly, but this has definitely helped me. Breaking my days into smaller sections and in those smaller sections of my days, whether that's my morning routine, you know, midday and afternoon, I break those sections into small decisions because that's all it is. Every single day we're given multiple tiny decisions to make and it's those tiny decisions that make the massive difference. Whether it's you stick to your plan or you order in, whether it's you go to the gym or you make an excuse, you just need to simplify your decisions and, you know, truly put yourself first when it comes to getting back on track. And another bit of advice, guys, is to push yourself, but also be realistic with your goal setting. This sort of ties in with the point as well of like not overcomplicating things and overwhelming yourself from the start. It is a work in progress and the start is the hardest. So just make sure that you're actually being realistic with what changes you wanna make. If that means, you know, weaning yourself off fast food before you go onto a food plan or, you know, even just getting out for daily walks before you start getting into a big gym plan again. Writing a daily list and making daily goals, like small daily goals for yourself definitely helps. But anyway, guys, I hope those tips helped. I was really excited to sit down and have the chats with you about this because it's something I'm very passionate about and I think you know if you can implement some of these tips it will help you get back on track and hopefully stay on track for the foreseeable. If you like this style of video let me know in the comment section and I can keep them coming of course. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.